to edit script control e now click on table files here we have start end order fields start and fields representing intervals starting time ending time starting time ending time like that. start and end fields are representing here intervals in order log table first i load order log table and next i load event log table Just click on table files button Event log, event log contains three fields, time, event, comment. Now we need to link this time field in between these time intervals. Also, I'll name it as order log. The next one is event log. Now we need to write interval match statement after loading the tables. Here. Interval match of field name. For which field we need to link time load fields representing intervals start comma end resident order log. I'm using the, these two fields from order log table. This way. Now we we'll execute this script. Click on reload. Okay. Now we need to check is those time field is linked to that particular interval or not in between start and time. Field. So to check that one, we need to display all those fields in a table format. If you want to display all those fields in table format, we need to display in table box. Right click new sheet object, click on table box and add all these fields at all it just the fields like start and time they come side by side first i move order to adjust this one click on promote demand order then event comment so start any time okay now we'll check 223 is in between 1 to 335 415 is in between 232 to 758. Again, 415 is in between 34 to 1027. 8 is in between 34 to 1027. We have linked all these values perfectly in between start and end values. Start and end weeks. This way. The purpose of control matches, it is useful to link discrete numeric values to one or more discrete numeric intervals. If you want to link numeric values to numeric intervals, we need to perform interval match.